God said that daycare for a two to three year old is $2,400 a month. So if y'all child is out there, go ahead and chill. That's right. She ain't lying. She is not lying to you. You can play with it if you want to, but a child, that's daycare. A child, daycare for a two to three year old, $2,400, $2,500 a whole month. Want to play with it. You understand what I'm saying? You can get a decent house for $2,500 a month. Now that's just daycare. We're not talking about food. We're not talking about clothes. We're not talking about health insurance. we just talking about regular ass daycare. Hold a baby for just a little while. That's all we're talking about. Hold a baby while I go to work. We're not talking about snacks shoes, pants, toothbrush, doctor visits, hair combs, baby Benadryl, baby Tylenol, diapers. We ain't talking about none of that. None of, none of that. Be careful. Don't let it go. Uh, don't do that. You better pull. O U D. Okay, so here we have it once again. Shula King is crazy, y'all. He talking about pull out. Shut up. Talking about P U L L O U T. Now let me tell you something. My husband never never pull out, and let me tell y'all that's why I got six kids now. So believe what he's saying for real. You know, if you do the do, it's going to happen. You know, I told my baby girl, I said, you you about to get married. I said, the first thing going to happen, you're going to get pregnant. You know, <laughs> that's just how we made. Hey, but let me tell you something. You're going to be able to take care of the kids. Hey, don't worry. Like I said, I got six kids and we all and me and my man, we don't got no whole lot of money. But I'll tell you what, these kids being fed, they big and chunky and healthy and muscular and all that kind of stuff. So God, he going to help you take care of those those kids but I entitled this you know what caught me about this is because Shula King he talking about the cost of child care but let me tell y'all something I worded this why do women work just to pay for daycare y'all comment below and tell me why do women choose to go to work just to pay for daycare that is so expensive and essentially that is really what the woman is doing so you know I always I always say all the time this housewife stuff, it got to catch on, okay? We got to start staying at home and being there for our kids. It is just a win-win situation. You like this video and you tell me below what are the benefits that you have faced in being a housewife and being a stay-at-home mom. When you a stay-at-home mom, you can have as many kids as you want because you don't have to pay for daycare. Let me tell you something else that I saved a whole lot of money on is baby i nursed my kids i didn't have to worry about no formula that stuff costs a whole lot of money and people complain about that but the reality is is if you just stayed home you know what i'm saying you would have the money to pay i mean you wouldn't have to worry about paying for powder milk another thing you don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about the gas that it costs for you to commute to a job you don't have to worry about uh the finer designer clothing that you're gonna have to buy in order to show up for a job so it's a lot of expenses that you can cut out some uh marriages have even started out where you know you got one economical car you know maybe you don't have to have two vehicles you see what i'm saying when she is a keeper and a stayer at home so these are just some things that we need to think about in 2024 as we are progressive as we are moving forward as we are thinking about society as we are thinking about the economy because let me tell you something people are not going to become less greedy they're going to take your money if you give it to them so it's best to know how to use your hands and be sufficient and efficient in a home even proverbs says the wise woman builds her house but the foolish pluck it down with her hands sometimes you can just be doing too much so sometimes we need to tap into once again remembering that some of the biggest 
uh, boss moves that a woman can make is to be a homemaker, is to be a housewife. You know, your children many times because they're so well taken care of because you're there with them, you know, emotionally, mentally, they get sick less often and cut down on health care. Once again, it's just all a win-win situation, okay? So, hey, uh... Women, let's stay at home. Let's be homemakers, okay? When you refuse to work, guess what happens? More jobs become available for your husbands. Sometimes the reason why we have a job shortage is because everybody is trying to be in the workforce and nobody wants to stay at home. So we are creating more jobs for caretakers, care providers, maids, uh, even fast food services because we're not cooking at home because we are not at home. So let's go home. Let's go home. Um, and be great, okay? Uh, and check out my video. I did an entire live video, and I put together, it was eight reasons that a woman, well, I entitled it, a woman cannot work outside the home because she has to nurse babies. You tell me a woman that can nurse a baby on a job. Crickets, you right. <laughs> You tell me a woman that can nurse a baby on the job and don't try to do that. I used to try to do that like pumping out milk. Baby, your milk will dry up because it responds to the natural, organic suck of that baby, okay? So check out that video. Check out my playlist on dating and relationships and you just tell me, okay? And um, it's just like I said, my husband, he never pulls out and so that's why we got six kids you know, and so uh, I am appreciative and thankful and grateful for big families. It is the common ground. Uh, it is the backbone of our society. We need to believe in it. One of my um, fans, she said, hey, this makes sense if you can live on a farm. I never lived on a farm. Now, I've lived in the city with my six kids. But, hey, it's a lot of activities and opportunities. You know, you got to come out of yourself as a mother and get down there and enjoy uh, your relationship with your children and take them to these huge parks. You know, in the rural area, they may not have many parks, but they got plenty of land. So we just have to make use of all of uh, our, our, our weapons. We have to make use of all of our arsenal that we have to set the torch on fire, to set the blaze on fire, to bring women back into the home. And we don't want dads just staying at work to stay away from home. See, a lot of times we run to our jobs because we're really running away from home economics. We're running away from uh, the very things that make up the home and that need the adults for survival of the home. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of times we're going to work to run away from domestic responsibilities, okay? But we have to not do this. We have to believe in commonwealth. We have to believe in community. We have to believe in these things again. And when we change... If you want to change the world, I seen a billboard on the back of a car and it said, if you want to change the world, go home and love your families, okay? So let's do this. Let's believe in this. Don't pull out. Have big families. You know, bring that back in style. Because a lot of us, we, we just depend on the trends. We depend on what's in style and what's out of style. You know, let's stop having the babies out of wedlock. You know, let's do the right thing. Let's save sex for marriage. You know, hey, it's a new day. Let's be productive and let's do those things that please the creator, okay? Like this video and subscribe and don't pull out uh, hashtag big families, okay? Let's believe. Like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as I always say, peace and love.